stars are right, and that means it's time for another episode of The Whisper in Darkness. I'm your host, the man from Lang. Thank you very much for joining me today. On this episode, I am continuing my review of the uh, player cards in Black Stars Rise, the uh, fifth mythos pack in uh, the Path to Carcosa cycle. This time, I am looking at the rogue cards. There are spoilers throughout if you care about that sort of thing. If you enjoy what you hear, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Now, rogues receive uh, two extremely interesting cards in this pack, in, uh, including the uh, class's first spell. So uh, let's take a look at those cards now. The uh, first rogue card in the pack is Narrow Escape. It's a free event with two agility skill icons and the fortune trait. It has the game text, Fast. Play when an enemy makes an attack of opportunity against you. Cancel that attack you get plus two skill value for the next skill test you perform this turn. Wow. Talk about a card with uh, uh, limitless possibilities. Rogues are uh, really the undisputed kings of uh, generating action advantage. But uh, you got to ask yourself, what good are all those extra actions uh, if you have trouble converting them uh, into successes? Narrow Escape can help an investigator push through one action uh, in the face of adversity and uh, improves the odds of success on a, a, a second and uh, all that and you can do all that for just the cost of a card which is uh, which is fantastic first it's uh, it's worth noting that narrow escape is a free level zero event with two agility sky on skill icons any level zero card that uh, doubles up on icons is uh, is worth a second look the only other level zero rogue card with a two agility skill icons is I'm out of here from um, the Essex County Express. Now, Narrow Escape is a is a far more versatile card uh, than that one. So, if you're looking, uh, even if you're just looking to replace the manual dexterity in, in your deck, I don't think you can go wrong with uh, Narrow Escape. Second, it's important to understand when you get the uh, the plus two skill bonus. Now, I've seen some confusion uh, on the forms about this, so uh, so hopefully I can clear that up here. For example, uh, if Schizo if Skidzo Tool uh, takes an investigate action with his flashlight and cancels the attack of opportunity with Narrow Escape, he'll receive uh, the plus two bonus to his intellect during uh, that action. However, if uh, Skid play, Skids plays a machete from his hand and cancels the attack of opportunity with Narrow Escape, he would receive plus two skill value uh, on the next test, which uh, could be a combat skill test resulting from a fight action uh, with the machete. Now the reason that Skids receives the uh, plus two bonus on the uh, when he uses his flashlight and cancels the attack of opportunity that's because the attack of opportunity happens before uh, the action itself resolves. So that uh, that is how the card works. The uh, third thing is that Narrow Escape is an event, so uh, Wendy Adams can replay it from the discard pile with Aunt Wendy's amulet and uh, Safina Rousseau. Can, uh, can abuse it with the Painted World. So those are two other interactions to keep in mind uh, if you're looking at putting this card in your deck. Now it's uh, tempting to look at a card like Narrow Escape and immediately compare it to a card like Dodge from the core set. Both cards will uh, cancel an attack, but I think that's uh, selling Narrow Escape's potential a little bit short. Narrow Escape is, uh, is not a dodge in the traditional sense, in that you uh, can't use it to cancel an, an attack during the enemy phase. You can only play it uh, when an enemy makes an attack of opportunity against you. Obviously, that means you need to be engaged with an enemy, and uh, you need to be taking an action other than a fight, evade, parlay, or resign. But uh, that still leaves uh, limitless possibilities uh, for shenanigans for rogues. Let's uh, look at a simple example. If uh, Skids draws an enemy from the encounter deck during the Mythos phase, uh, unfortunately he hasn't had a chance to play uh, the machete in his hand. Skids could uh, play the machete, cancel the attack of opportunity with narrow escape, and then attack the enemy with his next action, adding uh, plus two to his combat value. But uh, what if the machete is nowhere in sight? Well, kids, Skids uh, could take a move action, cancel the attack of opportunity with narrow escape, and then follow it up with an evade action, adding at plus two to his agility skill value. If uh, the machete is already in play, but Skids needs to move to a connecting location so that uh, Roland can chip in with a vicious blow, 
Skids can move, cancel the attack of opportunity with narrow escape, and uh, follow it up with a fight action, adding plus two to his combat value, in addition to uh, Roland's bonus. And uh, that's pretty awesome. Narrow escape is also helpful if you're playing around with the uh, succeed by two mechanic. For example, Jenny Barnes could drop a level two, uh, 41 Derringer into play, cancel the attack of opportunity with narrow escape, and then follow it up with a shot from the Derringer. Now that shot is going to be uh, at a plus four combat uh, bonus, and that's before Jenny dips into her change purse uh, to trigger hard knocks, or she uh, commits any cards to the skill test. That uh, plus four bonus is definitely going to improve the odds that she'll be able to do two damage to the enemy, and uh, it's quite possible that she'll succeed by three or more, which will enable her to, uh, to take an extra action. Uh, a dodge and a skill boost uh, rolled into one. Narrow Escape is, that, is the type of card that can help an investigator with access to the rogue card pool slip through enemy lines, so to speak, and, and really pull off clutch actions. The, uh, the ability to push through one action despite the presence of an enemy is good. The fact that you uh, can get plus two skill value for the next skill test uh, is even better. And uh, I think I did mention that this card is free. You don't have to pay for it. And uh, that's fantastic. This, uh, this card is really efficient for what it does. And uh, I'm really looking forward to including it uh, in my new Skids deck, uh, among others that we've uh, seen this cycle. It's a, a very cool card, uh, indeed. The second row card in the pack is Suggestion. It's a three-cost asset that will set you back four experience points. It has uh, willpower and agility skill icons and the spell trait. It uses three charges and uh, takes up the arcane slot. You may take an action to exhaust Suggestion, evade, add your willpower skill value to your skill value for this evasion attempt. If you do not succeed by at least two, remove one charge from Suggestion. You may also trigger Suggestion's response when a non-elite enemy would attack you uh, to spend one charge to cancel that attack. The uh, first spell in the Rogue class, Suggestion, is a, it's a powerful defensive option for investigators with mystical inclinations. Uh, Skids and Jenny can purchase this card, of course, but uh, I think Suggestion is really going to shine in the hands of uh, Safina, Marie, and uh, Kachi, so I'm uh, going to focus primarily on uh, those investigators. Let's uh, start with the basics. Suggestion is a spell, so you can tutor it with Arcane Initiate, add charges to it with uh, Book of Shadows, Recharge, or Akachi's ability, and uh, or boost your skill value during a skill test uh, with uh, Grounded or a Spirit Athame. And you can play it for free using Uncage the Soul. The, uh, the spell trait has some of the best synergy in the game, and uh, Suggestion can really benefit uh, from all of those cards. Let's move on to the response. Safina, uh, Marie, and Akachi have only one card available to them that uh, can cancel an, atta an enemy attack, and uh, that's Hypnotic Gaze from the Essex County Express. You can play Hypnotic Gaze when any en enemy attacks any investigator at your location. There is uh, also a small chance it will reflect any damage that would have been dealt by that attack back on the enemy. Now, Hypnotic Gaze is slightly more versatile then Suggestion, which only cancels attacks made by uh, non-elite enemies against you. However, uh, Hypnotic Gaze also costs three uh, resources, which is a lot for a one-shot event in a class uh, with plenty of uh, expensive assets and, and events. If uh, you've got the experience, you can play Suggestion for the same price as a Hypnotic Gaze and cancel three attacks, four if you're playing Akachi, you could even try to recharge it if you were so inclined to uh, to cancel three more attacks. And uh, don't forget that if you're playing a catchy, you can bounce Suggestion back to your hand using Spirit Speaker to refresh the charges. Now, canceling three or four attacks during a scenario, much less uh, seven or eight, is, is pretty amazing. It's going to be very difficult for non-elite enemies to uh, connect with an attack if you're using, uh, if you've got that many charges sitting on Suggestion. You know, I think in some scenarios, Suggestion could almost give you blanket protection from enemies. And, uh, you know, if that's all this card did, I think it would it would make a solid addition to a deck that, uh, that had backed off on the offense a little bit to play a more support role. I could also see including a copy of it in, a, in an offensive-minded deck, 
uh, that's slinging spells. It's uh, just looking for some added insurance just in case uh, an attack slipped through. But wait, to, there's more to a suggestion than just canceling attacks. You can also exhaust this card to attempt to evade an enemy, adding your willpower skill value to your agility skill value for this test. Safina and Akachi have uh, a skill value of 8, while Marie has a skill value of 7 when they trigger suggestion. You uh, shouldn't have too much trouble evading an enemy with an agility skill value of 8 on uh, easy or standard difficulty, and uh, 8 is a great starting point if you're uh, playing on hard or expert. Now, you do have to remove a charge from suggestion unless you succeed by at least 2. However, the, uh, the beauty of this card is that you don't need to uh, spend a charge to use Suggestion's action triggered ability. If uh, you've got no charges left on Suggestion to cancel an attack, that's no problem because you can still take an action to evade the enemy before the attack, which uh, in some cases can be as good if not better uh, than simply cancelling the attack. Enemy management is, is one of the cornerstones of the Arkham Horror LCG, and uh, Suggestion gives investigators with mystical inclinations a powerful tool to, uh, to either evade enemies or cancel their attacks. I've uh, already heard of a few reports of investigators such as Safina and Akachi becoming nigh and vulnerable with this card in play, and uh, it's really not difficult to see why. I expect a lot, of, I expect a lot uh, from a card if I'm spending four experience points uh, to purchase it, and... Uh, Suggestion is the, the type of card I think that's going to meet or exceed my expectations. I uh, really can't wait to give it a try, especially in Akachi. I've uh, played a few games with her where I really needed a way to cancel attacks or evade enemies, and uh, I think Suggestion is uh, just the, the solution I need in, able to, in order to do that. That's going to do it for my review of the rogue cards in uh, Black Stars Rise. I uh, really like both cards in this pack. Narrow Escape is going to help rogues like Skids O'Toole capitalize on their action advantage. It also gives the uh, the Succeed by 2 me mechanic another shot in the arm, and uh, we've seen a couple cards uh, in this cycle that do that, and uh, I haven't played with the Succeed by 2, uh, Succeed by two deck recently, so uh, I'm curious to see how all of those, uh, all the little cards it's received, uh, how it's helping them now. Suggestion uh, it gives spellcasters like Safina and Akachi a, a really strong way of evading enemies or cancelling their attacks outright. I uh, really like the fact that you can trigger the evade action without spending a charge, which uh, means this card is still useful once the charges run out. I, uh, I, have got a, I have to admit that I've got a soft spot for rogues, and so it's, it's nice to see them uh, receive a couple of powerful uh, cards in this pack. But uh, make sure you give them a try for yourselves and, and see how they do. And uh, if you have had some experience with these cards, by all means, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me ha know how they worked for you. That's going to do it for me today. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you could uh, leave a comment down below and uh, hit that subscribe button. If you need to contact me, I can be reached at manfromlang at gmail.com. I'm also on Twitter at manfromlang. Until the stars are right, keep your shotgun close and your elder sign closer. Take care out there, and happy investigating.